Hi right, bestie, welcome back. So uh, I am currently gonna wash my dish and I got some new books I wanted to show you guys because <laughs> right now we all love new books, right? Right? Let me try to figure out where to set you guys, hold on. Today is a pretty chill day, we're not doing much. Like I said, I got a new I got some new books that I ordered a couple of days ago from Barnes & Noble. I used like two gift cards that I have from Barnes & Noble. So I've been having them for months and months and months. And I hadn't used them. Um, a friend of mine gave me one when um, I had like told her that I was moving back home. So she just gave me like a farewell gift which was a Barnes & Noble gift card which I was so happy about. And then when I first started dating my boyfriend, literally like two weeks in, he sent, I told him that I wasn't feeling good. And um, he sends me two good cards, which one was from Barnes & Noble and then the other one was for Starbucks. But I went ahead and bought two books, which I'm going to share with you guys and I'm very excited because I've been wanting one of them for years now. Not years. Maybe, yeah, maybe like two years. I've been trying to figure out like what content I should film for you guys or like what content do you guys want to see. Um, I'm a little bit more like active like on TikTok so if you guys follow me on TikTok that's where I actually got encouraged to start posting on YouTube again because you girls were literally asking and asking so shout out to my TikTok girls um, but yeah. Now it's just more trying to figure out like what content to be filming because I don't want to just be doing like vlogs which is what I've been posting these past times. Um, so I don't want to just post mainly vlogs, you know, like I want to do different things and stuff like that. So yeah, but I do feel like vlogs are more fun because I know that you guys want to know what I'm doing um, throughout my days mostly. So I guess it makes sense on why you guys want to see more vlog kind of style but i do want to do um like a sit down video just to update you guys on life you guys have been asking me on why i moved back to my hometown and why i decided to leave la what am i doing now like what are my plans how i met my boyfriend so i feel like you guys are just very curious as to what's going on on um, my day to day than anything so yeah i need to do i want to do like a sit down video of just like a life update it's much needed long overdue so i'm excited i'm excited i ordered some books um from barnes and noble a couple days ago like i said i had gift cards so we're gonna open her up but yeah, these are the two books that I bought. This is Caravel and Credence. So I'm excited to read them. Let me know if you guys have read them or if you guys have been wanting to read them because they caught my eye and I've been wanting. They've been on my TBR for such a long time, like very, very long time. So I think it was finally time for me to get my hands on them. But yeah. Hi guys. So it's Saturday and my dad woke me up a little early today because I just kept hearing him sneezing and sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. So yeah, I am currently trying to fold my laundry. I'm not naked, I have a tube top on. But I need to fold all my laundry and I still have to wash. I started washing yesterday, but I didn't have any more ganchos. And I needed ganchos to hang up all like my hoodies and stuff like that. So I had to wait for that. I got some already. So I had to finish the rest of my laundry. But this is just here. So I had to finish folding all of that. And then also I'm so excited because we got a bookshelf um, to put all of our books. Mine and my sister's. And we're going to put it in here in the room. So it's gonna look super cute and i'm very excited and we're gonna build that together my mom my i told my sister i was like i can't wait so we can build the um the bookshelf she was like what do you mean we and i'm like yeah we and she was like you mean omar which is my brother and i'm like no honey pop you don't need a man like mm -mm. that's one thing about me it's like i've never had like a man in my life that 
would just like do stuff like that for me or like manly things like when i moved to la literally i had to do everything myself i had to build my own things and all that so i know how to build drawers and like ikea drawers target drawers whatever so i feel like i don't need a man to do those things but that's just me personally you know it's nice don't get me wrong it's nice but it's okay like i got it i know what to do you know so yeah that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna build we're gonna do laundry and build a bookshelf so that should be fun and then later i don't know what i'm doing i think i'm gonna hang out with my boyfriend i'm not 100 percent sure but we'll see in a little bit so Okay, so it is breakfast time. I don't know why, but I've been having like this craving of pancakes. Like I've just been wanting pancakes all the time now. So that's what I'm going to be doing. My brothers are here, so I'm going to also be making them some. So let's do this thing. I already took a couple bites of my breakfast, but I made mini pancakes and then, well, I didn't mean to, they just came out small. And then some eggs on the side. Some milk. I told you guys that I was going to build the shelf and I came out and my brother was already building it. So this is how big it's going to be and I don't know how many shelves it comes with, I think six. This is the one, it's from Target. One, two, three, four, five. Five. But yeah, it's pretty big and it should fit. I have my books over here i literally have them stored here like i bought some new ones and i just have them like stacked up right here and then all of them are in these little drawers and i was telling my mom that i just feel like them being in there makes me not want to read because i forget that i have them because they're just stored and now obviously having them like all displayed is going to be completely different I'm going to be able to look at my books and be like, oh, let me just read this one or whatever. But <clears throat> like I showed you guys in my last vlog, I'm reading this one. I haven't read much of it because I have stopped. I haven't. I feel like I haven't had any time to like really sit and read. But yeah, this is a book that I'm currently reading. I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica L. Sanchez. So good. I'm literally like... 70 pages in so far and so good i feel like if you're mexican hispanic whatever you can totally relate to this i do recommend all my books i have them linked on my amazon storefront so i do have it in my link tree if you guys want to go ahead and check that out to see what books i have um i have all the books that i 
have here there so yeah I haven't read a lot of them and I've been wanting to do like this thing where it's like I write all of them down and put them in a jar and I'll start doing that like every time I finish a book and just grab another one because I feel like there's so many books and I just buy new ones instead of reading the ones that I have so it's like how does that make sense how am I supposed to do my TBR and you know what I mean so yeah I just need to do better on reading the books I have and not purchasing more like I have so many books and I bought two of them two more the other day so it's like I need to stop but yeah I'm excited brother I see como Huh? Okay. Hey. How's it going? Where are you going? Where are you from? Monday. 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 Oh, Thursday? 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 We just have to move it in, so we're gonna go do that real quick. Okay. She's gonna start organizing her books. She gets the bottom two and I get the top three because I have more books than her. So she's literally just gonna use those two. These are her books that she has. She has read the whole after series. I have never actually read the after series, but I've been tempted to because my sister says that she loves it. Huh? Yes, I read it like five times. The whole series? Yeah. You're a crazy girl. But yeah, they look like these. These are all her books. And then right now we're gonna put all mine. Okay, so I'm gonna set up my books, but first I wanted to show you guys this beautiful book box that I got for Christmas a couple years ago. Blanca gave it to me and I was obsessed. It is the Harry Potter. Harry Potter? What? The Harry Potter book collection or the book series. I have never actually read them because I had watched the movies before I even knew that there was books. I know how. But. I really wanted them just to have them and they're so fucking beautiful like honestly it's the uh, they're so nice maybe one day I'll actually read them but that's what they look like and it comes with all seven of them like let me just show you because I feel like they're so pretty so this is the first one Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone this is the very first one and then this is the second one and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. My favorite one is the fourth one. I just love the cover. Um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh no, sorry, the fifth one, that's the fourth one. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This one is my favorite, I just love it. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And look how pretty, none of it's just because I love blue. Um, but I just, I'm obsessed with like the cover and everything. And they are hard covers, so it's even nicer. This is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And then this is the last one, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. But yeah, that's my book collection for the Harry Potter ones. And I'm gonna put that one all the way on top. Um, but they're so nice, I love it. So right now I'm setting up my books on top. I'm gonna put the books that I have already read. Um, which I'm gonna show you guys a couple of them. So this is The Love Hypothesis. I read this one. I gave it about a 3 out of 5. Pretty good. It starts with Us by Colleen Hoover. Not my favorite, did not finish it because I was just like, um, second book, not necessary. Reminders of Him, another Colleen Hoover. So many people hyped this one up, wasn't my favorite. Um, Let It Snow by John Green. I actually haven't read it, but I don't think I will, to be honest with you. Um, I feel like John Green writes more like teenager books. And I actually got that one fresh out of high school. Um, I got it gifted to me, but I'm not gonna you know read it and then things we never got over by lucy score felt like it was too much it was too much like unnecessary details in it i did finish it but i just felt like it was not my favorite you know and then i have book one and three from the 50 shades of gray series so i have the first one and the third one i don't have the second one because i let my friend borrow it and she never gave it back to me and i'm no longer friends with her so there's that 
And then there's Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. This is the first spicy book that I ever read. So good. But at the same time, a little iffy about it, you know? And then The Way I Used to Be. Oh my god, this book made me cry so much. I've been wanting to read the second one, but I'm waiting for the paper back cover because I'm not a fan of um, hard book color. And then here is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Ugo by T Taylor Jenkins Reid. I absolutely loved this book. Every bit of it, it was just amazing. And then Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. Also such a great book. So I'm putting that there. And then I read Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen. Stopping the Spiral of Toxic Thoughts. This book made me cry so much. It was a hard read just because it challenges you mentally, you know. And then The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides also really great and then yeah i read other books but i let people borrow them and that's my problem i need to stop letting people borrow my books because then i don't get them back okay so this is what the books look like so on top i put like books that i already read or don't plan on reading and then some astrology books and then here are books that i haven't read and then here and i have this empty space so you know what that means more books okay guys so it's going to be the end of this video this one was a little bit different it was just more of me doing little chores here around the house but i hope you guys enjoyed it um for my next video i am planning on doing more of like a life update so if you guys have any questions for me comment down below on what you guys want to know because i'm about to be spilling all the tea but yeah like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on my next one bye <laughs>